Oof, look at this. Transformer kit there. Damn, oh. son, where'd you find this? Looks dangerous. Mm, let's get ready to Ooh, stuff. Lots of stuff. Ah, oh, hello. I'm going to tell you about Transformers. I am Optimus Prime, and I send this message to you. Right. What a Transformer is, is basically a, a piece of metal. We use soft iron, and it's laminated because that helps to increase the magnetic field. Um, and what we do is we put two coils around the uh, iron core. So the first one is where the current would come in. That's called the primary coil. It's like a primary school that you went in first of all. And then the second coil is called the secondary coil. And then we just put this on the top to help to concentrate the magnetism. The reason why we need transformers is we're pretty decent now at making electricity in the power stations, but we lose a lot of power and a lot of electrical energy in trying to go from the power station to people's houses. What we've discovered is that if you've got a high current, it makes the wires get hot and then you lose your electrical energy because it turns into heat energy. Now that is a phenomenon called line loss. So someone invented a transformer which allows us to increase the voltage and decrease the current. And there's an equation that says power equals voltage times by current. Now if all you did was decrease the current, that would decrease the power, and that's no good. So we needed a way to decrease the current, but at the same time, increasing the voltage to keep the power the same. And a transformer is what does that. There's two types of transformers you can get. You can get a step up transformer and a step down transformer. Now I'll explain the maths about that in a little bit. Whatever the transformer says it does, that's what it does to the voltage. So if it's a step up transformer, it steps up the voltage. So that means it makes the voltage bigger. And what it does as a consequence is it makes the current go smaller. And that is what we really want. I'm going to use this as a step down transformer, so I'm going to step down the voltage and that will make the current get much bigger. Now how much bigger it gets depends on the ratio of the coils that I use. So I am going to put 600 coils onto the primary and I am going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 coils on the secondary. Now, if you can do 600 to 6, can we simplify that? Yeah, that's 100 to 1. Quick so, it's like 100, for every 100 volts in, I'll get 1 volt out. Okay, so I'm making the voltage go 100 times smaller. And all that's going to do, it's going to make the current go 100 times bigger. If the current gets big, that makes things get hot. I've got two nails in here. I'm going to make them get so hot, I'm going to use electric current to weld them. Right, I'm going to put the lid on. Keep the magnetism sealed inside there. Now, teachers have killed themselves doing this, mind. So if I die... Danny, <coughs> wife and kids, that my last words are I love them. Mm. Are you looking at my wife? She <laughs> says I'm good. So I'm putting 230 volts in. Safety is number one priority. Right, check out this bad boy. Ooh, fuck them sparks. Right, look at the nail. Look at how hot the nail's gonna get. Oof, look at that. Now that's what I'm talking about before. If your current's too big, things get hot. And I'm gonna lose all my electrical energy it's going to turn into heat energy. Well, that's no good, is it? Right, so what we've got, imagine there's a power station over here, and we are creating voltage at around about uh, 25,000 volts. Now, 25,000 volts might sound like a very high voltage, but, well, it is, but uh, in terms of transmission, you still get large currents. So what we need to do is we need to increase the voltage to somewhere in the region of 400,000 volts and as the voltage goes up, 
the current will come down. Watch, I'll show you what happens if I transmit the energy at a high current. The first thing I need is to uh, step the voltage down from 230 volts, uh, just down to a smaller voltage, otherwise I'm going to hurt myself. So this is a transformer here, and what it says is it's going to give out 3 volts and 4 amps. Now 4 amps might not sound like very much, but it only takes half an amp across your heart to kill you. So there's 8 times by death in that box. So 4 amps is going to come through here, and it's going to come on to the end, and we'll see if there's any voltage left to light these bulbs up at the end. So you can clearly see that there's a lot of electrical energy at the start there. Okay, that bulb's nice and bright. Now the electrical energy is going down through the wires, the current's going down through the wires, and it's coming to this back part there. Now you can see that those bulbs are not lit at all. Turn the lights out and I get really close, you might be able to see. No, there's none of them are on, so I'll unscrew that one. Have these two came on? No. I'll unscrew that one. Has this one came on? Yes, you can just see. This bulb here has came on just a tiny little bit. So we've obviously lost a lot of energy. Plenty of energy at the start. Look at how bright that bulb is. And not much energy at the end. And what the problem is, those wires are getting hot because the current is too big. So we need a way in order to step the voltage up and then make the current go small. So we need to use a step up transformer. I've just showed you that 4 amps is too big. 3 volts is too small here. I need to make the voltage go bigger, make the current go smaller. So far, this transformer here, it wants 3 volts in and it's going to give 24 volts out. So if this is a transformer in here, primary coil, secondary coil, obviously what's happening is the voltage is getting bigger. So that must mean that there's more coils on this secondary compared to this primary. This here is going to make the voltage eight times bigger, which is going to make the current eight times smaller. Now the current was four amps, now it's only half an amp. So we'll transmit that power, electrical power, at half an amp, and we'll see how much is left at the end. Now here's the thing, if I'm going to step up the voltage at the beginning, I need to remember to step down the voltage at the end. I can't put 24 volts in those bulbs, I'll blow them up. So I'm going to use a step down transformer. So this step down transformer says, put 22 volts in. So remember it was 24 volts here, so I've obviously lost a couple of volts in the wires. So that's fine. And then what, what it's going to do is it's going to put 3 volts out. So 22, 22 volts going in, 3 volts coming out. So I've stepped down the voltage. I'm going to bring the current back up. Hopefully there's still enough current to light these 3 bulbs. Are you ready for the magic? Oh! We got to get stupid! There we go. Look at the magic. Right, now without this nobody would be getting electricity in the house. So there's, there's, there's clearly still enough energy, electrical energy, to power the three bulbs. Absolutely tremendous. I'm available for parties, bar mitzvahs, you name it, weddings. I'll just come along with your little gadgets. When your parties just start to die down a little bit, you give us the nod and I'll reveal my little experiment, all right? What are you doing the first Friday in January? <laughs> Hello. Right, let us go through some of the theory with you. To do with transformers. This is a nice little PowerPoint presentation put together by Footprint Science. Transformers, they can be used to change the voltage of an AC supply. So there's two types of current, AC alternating current and DC direct current. Transformers only work with alternating current. Um, the theory of it is, is that you'll get the alternating current, as the current comes in and out, 
Get the make a magnetic field going north, south, north, south. So an alternating current creates an alternating magnetic field. Now, the change in magnetic field in the primary coil will induce a voltage in the secondary coil. So the primary coil is not electrically connected to the secondary coil. What happens is as the current comes into the primary coil, it creates an alternating magnetic field in the primary coil. Now that alternating magnetic field in the primary coil gets transferred through the iron core, because iron is magnetic, and, and that creates the alternating magnetic field in the secondary coil, north, south, north, south, creates an alternating current, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, and also obviously an alternating voltage, which creates the alternating current. Uh, and depending on how big the coils are, the primary compared to the secondary, and on how much voltage you put in, that will determine how much voltage you get out. So transformers only work with alternating voltage. Right, so there's two types of transformers you can get, a step up transformer and a step down transformer. Step up transformers produce high voltages, so that little energy is lost in the power lines. Step down transformers reduce the voltage before the electricity reaches our homes. You can't put uh, thousands of volts into the sockets, otherwise you bring your plug close to the socket and you'll end up getting sparks jumping out at you. Primary voltage divided by the secondary voltage equals the number of turns on the primary divided by the number of turns on the secondary. So usually at GCSE there's only an equation with three things in. This has got four things, so I'll show you how to rearrange that back at the lab. Right, these footprint signs have got macros, so it means we can drag and drop the animations. So if I just pop these little words across the bottom, so we can see what words we've got to play with. The words at the side, there we go. So these are the words that you've got to choose from. So if you have a little look, pause the video and see if you can work out where the words go. Alright, you ready for the answers? Here we go. So transformers can be used to change the voltage and consequently the current, remember voltage of an AC supply. It doesn't work with DC, transformers don't work with DC. Okay. Changing magnetic field in the primary coil induces a voltage in the secondary coil and transformers only work with alternating voltage. Alright, let's have a try of this one. 7 missing words, I'll pop the 7 different words along the bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright, pause the video, have a go at this, and then see if you get it right. Alright, are you ready for this then? Step up transformers, produce high voltages so that little energy, don't see a little electricity, see a little energy, is lost in power lines, national grid. Step down transformers, reduce voltages before the electricity reaches our homes. Alright, here's the guts, this is what's going on. So, you've got an alternating current coming in to the primary coil. And what that alternating current does is it creates an alternating magnetic field in the primary coil. As you can see here, the yellow lines. Now you can see that this primary coil is not electrically connected. There's no wire going across here um, to the secondary coil. So the interaction between the primary and the secondary is caused by this magnetic field. So an alternating current goes in, creates an alternating magnetic field. The alternating magnetic field is transferred across to the secondary. That alternating magnetic field creates an alternating voltage and an alternating current out of the secondary. Now in this particular case, you can see we put 10 volts in and we're getting 20 volts out. So that is getting twice as big. Now if we have a look at the coils, 
I've got 50 turns on the primary. Now if the voltage has doubled, it must be because the coil has doubled. So 50 turns on the primary and 100 turns on the secondary. So that's right. And if you were to do the voltage of the primary divided by the voltage of the secondary, that would equal the, vol uh, the number of turns on the primary divided by the number of turns on the secondary. And in this case, because the voltage is getting bigger, that's what we call a step up transformer. Now, I like to uh, think about it like this. However many turns it is, that's how many feet up in the sky it is. So if that's 50 turns, that's like 50 foot. So 50 foot high, to 100 foot high. If there was a little man, would he have to step up or step down? From 50 foot to 100 foot, he'd have to step up. So it's a step up transformer. Now let's have a little look at the step down transformer. Now in an exam, they'll be four things, but they'll only give you three. But as long as they just give you the turns, you can kind of work out what's going on straight away. The primary's got 100 turns on it, the secondary's got 50. So 100 turns to 50 turns, that's a step down. So the first thing is, it's a step down transformer. And how much as a ratio is it stepping down? Well, it's getting half as big, isn't it? So if the number of turns get half as big, that must mean that the voltage is going to get half as big as well. So there is a complicated piece of maths involved, but if you're good with ratios, uh, you don't, sometimes you don't even need to do the maths, as long as the numbers fit in to each other nice and easy. Right, so here's the maths involved in the transformer. What we're seeing is we need the, the power in this primary coil is going to be the same as the power in the secondary coil. Now, the power is current times by voltage. What we need to do to avoid light loss is we need to decrease that current. But if all I do is make the current like a thousand times smaller, that's going to make the power a thousand times smaller. So I need to make that a thousand times smaller and at the same time make that a thousand times bigger. And then that will keep the power the same. So then the power in the primary coil here will be the same as the power in the secondary coil there. So let's have a little look. What I've created here is a step down transformer. How do I know that? Look at the coils. I've got 20 turns on the primary and I've only got 10 turns on the secondary. So if that's 20 foot high, then it's going to step down to only 10 foot high. So that's why it's a step down transformer. And whatever it does to the turns, that's going to also do the same thing with the voltage. Now you can notice 20 turns has turned into 10 turns, so that's got half as big. Basically, the voltage is going to get half as big, so that'll be six volts. Now, I can show you how to work that out using maths. So, what we'll do um, this is the voltage on the primary VP, this is the voltage on the secondary VS, this is the number of turns, number of turns on the primary NP, and this is the number of turns on the secondary NS. And it's the ratio of the voltages is the same as the ratio of the turns. So I could say VP divided by VS is going to equal NP divided by NS. Make sure that the V's are on the same side. Make sure that the N's are on the same side. Make sure that the P's are on the same level. And make sure that the S's are on the same level. And as long as you're happy with that, you can, you can flip it around any way that you want. Now we're trying to work out what the voltage is on the secondary. So I'll just do some quick maths here. Boom! I want to flip it up. The first thing is to get VS on the top. So if I flip that left hand side, I can just flip the right hand side and that's great. So I'll just say VS divided by VP equals NS divided by NP. Now that I've got VS on the top, I just need to get VS by itself. So I need to multiply both sides by VP. So I'll say VP there, multiply by VP there. So VP divided by VP, that'll cancel it out. Now I'll just leave me my VS. So VS is going to equal NS over NP times by VP. So the number of turns on the secondary, that's NS, that's 10. Divide that by the number of turns on the primary, which was 20. And multiply that by the amount of voltage that went in, which was 12. So 
So half times by 12 is six, if you're clever. And that's what I said in the first place, six volts. So um, to be honest with you, this maths makes the whole thing more complicated. If you can just spot the pattern with the ratios, then just do what I did at the start, okay? The only time you can't do the ratio thing is when it's not a nice ratio. I did this on purpose because 20 and 10, that's a nice ratio of 2 to 1. Right, here's another example. This time, is this a step up or a step down transformer? Well, that's going from 20 turns up to 60 turns, so that's like 20 foot high going up to 60 foot high. So you've obviously got to step up. So this is a step up transformer. Remember, whatever I see it does, that's what it does to the voltage. So if it's a step up transformer, it's going to step up the voltage. And that means it's going to make the current get smaller. So let's concentrate on the voltage then. So I've got 20 turns to 60 turns. Well, can we simplify that ratio? Yes, we can. You could say it's two to six, but we can simplify it even better than that. It's one to three. So that's like for every one volt I get in, I'm gonna get three volts out. So now all I need to know, now that I know what the ratio of the turns are, I only need to know how much voltage went in, and I can work out how much is coming out. So six goes in, it's gonna get three times bigger, three times by six. 18 volts is going to come out. Easy peasy. And that's how to take care of that. Thank you very much. Bye. Try a different socket, see if it's this socket, maybe. Oh, so try, cool. try the other socket and see if it's the socket, maybe. Yeah. Ah, it should be sparks and all sorts. It's a very good go. Uh, yeah. That's a shame. It's the same ones I've always used. Oh well. If it's biology, it moves. If it's chemistry, it smells. And if it's physics, it doesn't work. What a shame. Who was the last one to use it, wasn't it? Yeah, watch this one. Whoa, look at the sparks on that, eh? Damn, Damn. Damn son, where'd you find this? So I'm decreasing the voltage by 100 times, which is going to make the current increase by 100 times. Because the power into the primary has to equal the power out of the secondary if we're assuming that this is 100% efficient. So you can see how hot it's getting. Oh, shizzle me zizzle, look at that. Yeah. And that has welded them two things quite nicely together there. Okay. So if you have a little look, pause the video, and see if you can work out where the words go. Right, let's make sure I get it right this time. <laughs> How low do I have to be to be in the shot? Yeah, that low. That low. <laughs> right. right Let's get me favourite ones. Burr, burr, burr. I'll just stop that a sec. That's pretty much it, isn't it? That's all that we said, isn't it? That's all good. Uh, there we go, that's the word search. Right, so I, I'm happy with that. Brilliant.